It's your boy Hose bringing you an Arakami deck profile. I literally have no idea what this deck is. I made it off of a picture Richard sent me. So. Are we recording? Yes. Uh, the starter uh, looks like he got come on, honestly. Bring late Drake, okay? Kid. What every single starter in V series does. I run three bowing sword uh, dragon. Skill is when your opponent's normal unit is bound other than from their deck during your so turn, your opponent searches their deck for up to one card with the same card name as that bound unit and as that bound card and binds it, shovels their deck. You choose one of your units and it gets plus 5,000 until the end of the turn. If your opponent did not bind, it gets plus 10,000 instead of plus 5,000. And when wrote upon, call this card a rear guard, choose a card from your opponent's drop zone, rarely two cards in your damage zone, and bind them. So on ride, bind two. Next, we have three Eradicator Dragonic Descendant. Skill is continuous when you would ride this card if your vanguard is a unit with eradicator in its card name this card is placed with all of their abilities until the end of the turn so it's like you're riding another one of him other skill is act vanguard or rearguard once per turn cost soul blast one choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards bind it your opponent chooses one of his or her uh, back row rear guards and moves it to the an open front row and auto once per turn when its attack does not hit counter blast one and discard a card from your hand stand this unit and it gets drive minus one until the end of the turn restanding vanguards are always nice I run fi uh, as my final grade three, one Eradicator Gauntlet Buster Dragon. During your turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 and an extra crit for each of your opponent's open front row rear guard circles. So it's an anti XL card. Uh, second skill is Counter Blast one and discard a card from your hand. Bind all of your opponent's front row rear guards. You may move all of your opponent's back row rear guards to a front row in the same column. I run four Cho'o, it's a restanding rear guard. Counter Blast, one, choose a column, bind one of your opponent's front row rear guards in that column, and move it to, uh, move one from the back row to the front row. But I mostly use it for the rear restanding right. skill. Right. Three Spark Rain. During your turn, this unit gets plus 1,000 for each card in your opponent's bind zone. And at the end of the battle, this unit attacked, Counter Blast one, choose the column this unit is in, bind all front row rear guards, and move all back row rear guards to the front row of the same column. Four Unruly Dragon. Counter Blast 1 when it- A special Counter Blast 1, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who might not know, an a special Counter Blast is when uh, a subclan specific Counter Blast. You have to Counter Blast an Eradicator. That was a really big thing during Break Right era. Oh, that just brought me back. When this unit intercepts, if you have a Vanguard with Eradicator in its card name, pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one of your opponent's uh, rear guards not attacking or boosting and retire it. And finally for the Grade 2s, uh, four two sword eradicator Cohen check. When your opponent's rear guard is put into the drop zone to the, due to the effect of one of your cards, if you have a vanguard with an eradicator in its card name, you may play red text. All fighters choose one of their rear guards and retires it. This can only be played the first time it activates in a turn. Okay. It's the, it's the Tempest Bolt support card. This one's actually my favorite card in the deck. Uh, Demolition Dragon. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked or boosted an attack that hit. Draw a card. Choose up to one card in your opponent's drop zone. Bind it. If you bound a card and this unit is on your rear guard circle, just shove it into the soul. For uh, Nusuku, its skill is when this unit... Japanese when this unit is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, look at the top five cards of your deck, reveal one Eradicator, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. If you put a card in your hand, discard a card from your hand. And finally, three uh, Eradicator Stride Fodder. When uh, you discard this for, uh, from your hand for the cost of Stride, look at the top seven cards from your deck, reveal one Grade 3 or Greater with Eradicator in its card name, and put it to your hand. Our trigger lineup, run three uh, Paulina. My heals, I run three Seobo and one grade three uh, of the uh, heals because I can't find my fourth copy of Seobo. <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhere at home. I even bought another copy of it and that got lost as well, so. No one would have been able to come up with a better reason. Uh, str uh, the Stride Fodder crits for uh, draw uh, PGs and the one over trigger. <laughs> Restands your Vanguard. <laughs> Actually, I might uh, bump this up to 16. Mm. <laughs> My, what is it, G Zone? Okay, buddy. I run uh, three Stunverse. Skill is Counter Blast 1 and turn a card from your G Zone face up. Put this unit from, into your G Zone face up from your Vanguard. Uh, your opponent chooses four cards each from his or her rear guards and drop zone and binds them for every four cards your opponent. For every four cards in your opponent's bind zone, draw a card and your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and binds it. One of the progenitor dragons. 
two voltage, two vibuster, one VMAX, one, uh, uh, what is it? Closer Dragon? And finally, one full Grigate. The only time you'll probably see this card in any deck. <laughs> and G uh, Guardians, I run three Bulwark and two Impede Dragon, that's it. I don't want to go into the G uh, explaining a bunch of G zone units because that just gives me PTSD. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching.